we start with this you are fiddling again <laughs> Whoa. first of all hello army <gasps> what hey First of all, this video is not in We are hacked. I'm glad that you say we. First of all, this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. I made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Hour because you don't know what karma will do to you someday. And excuse me for grammar mistakes, cause we be new I sucks in English ha 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 ha. Now let's talk Wait, about uh, case number one. This one is from October 2016, when BTS didn't have any D sang yet. I know, right? Poor them. That's why BTS didn't have any D sangs yet, because their fans is more focused on YouTube. But in November 19, 2016, which is just one month after previous tweet, BTS got their first D sang in MMA 2016. And even after BTS got D sang, they still refuse to acknowledge that achievement. They keep comparing BTS with other group. The November 19, 2016 which is just one month after previous tweet, BTS got their first D sang in MMA 2016. And even after BTS got D sang, they still refuse to acknowledge that achievement. They keep comparing BTS with other group. BTS is only one year younger, only has one D sang. And this other group is one year older and has 15 D sang. That's XO. I can see difference. the. I can see but the. But Karma e. is an army. On December right? 2nd, 2016, XO? BTS got another D sang in Mama. Artist of the year. But haters gonna hate. BTS e. only e. have two D sang. BTS only have two D sang. This other group just earned their 16 D sang in four years. BTS will literally never achieve that. Be quiet. And Karma strikes again. In 2019, BTS got 20 D sangs, 2 D sang from 2016, 3 D sang from 2017, 13 D sangs from 2018, and 2 D sangs from 2019. <laughs> now we shall move to case number two. Before love yourself, tear come back. Some people think BTS overproduced oh, song yeah. and they believe that tear come back will be flop. And BTS could never reach 1 million pre-order sales. Oh. Arm is going for million pre-orders. I'd like to see them try. This BTS comeback will be a tragic failure. Mark my words. Their sales won't even reach the sales of the DNA album. F. It won't even reach 1 million. It will be awakening slap to their reality. What's that? So get your popcorn ready. What's up ready. with the hatred because though? BTS like... will be the worst flop in K-pop history. I definitely didn't get scared. Oh god. Back to 2016, <laughs> Netizen also underestimating BTS album sales. They couldn't believe that BTS will ever reach 1 million sales. After Love Yourself tier released, tier reportedly surpassed more than 1 million and 400 thousand pre-orders, proving that BTS eventually can reach 1 million album sales in one pre-order. It also proves that tier comeback was not a flop like what they predicted. Soon after that, some people started using no 10 million no opinion to belittle BTS and ARMY. In December 2018, BTS of- Yeah, I see how the goalpost just changes though. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why they do this to themselves. The moment you change the goalpost, it's seeming like they just reach it. BTS just reaches it. Like, if anything, you just helping, you helping us out, bro. Achieve these things, like yeah because it's, it's motivation as hell like what they predicted soon like after that small, like... some people started using no 10 million no opinion to belittle bts and Army. some people were exo i'm just seeing a bunch of exos bts bro. officially reached 10 million sales according to gay own music chart with 5 gay million music album charts. sales from 2018 alone there's a music chart for bts surpassed big three in gay own sales 2018 with just two albums gay, uh, love like, yourself damn. tier and this love yourself answer. <gasps> moving to the next case when bts were nominated for top social artist in 2017 some other fandom stated that it is irrelevant and they didn't wish to win such award 
You all are going to wish you have a BBM as. No we are fine with all of our faves music awards I'll pass this to other fandoms. Some of them also votes for Justin Bieber, just because they didn't want BTS to win. Since my fate doesn't need billboard, I'm going to let you win Justin Bieber. But BTS actually got an invitation from the BBMers to attend the ceremony, <laughs> and thanks to ARMYs, BTS finally become the winner of Top Social Artist in BBMers 2017. They also got more recognition and gained oh, new fans boom, for after real. winning the award. Fast forward to a year after and BTS to win. Since my fate doesn't need billboard, I'm going to let you win Justin Bieber. Such but BTS though, actually like... got an invitation from the BBMers to attend the ceremony, and thanks to ARMYs, BTS finally become the winner of Top Social Artist in BBMers 2017. <laughs> they also got more recognition and gained new fans after winning the award. Fast forward to a year after, BTS were nominated again in the BBMers. <laughs> Some other fandom even started to wish for the same award. Before, why do people want Korean groups be western so bad? After, uh, how many weeks do you need to be nominated for a BBM? Ads? Damn, screw we're kinda caked but up. They said that it is delusional my, for my BTS fault. to perform or having a comeback stage at the BBM as. Why do armies actually think America will actually let BTS perform at the BBM as? That's next level delusional. They're not even coming up with good names though. Having a comeback stage at the BBM as. Why do armies actually think America will actually let BTS perform at the BBM as? That's next level delusional. Just because they hand you social media award doesn't mean they will allow them to have their comeback on the stage too. Do you people really think that a pop group would have a comeback stage in the United F States? But as always, karma is an army. BTS got invited not only as the nominees, but also as the performer in BBM as 2018 and their performance will be a world TV premiere for Fake Love. And of course they also become the winner of Top Social Artist Award for two years in a row. <laughs> they won? Now we shall talking about the latest events, <laughs> the Grammys. You didn't say your... Uh, On September 11th, boom, BTS like, were invited I, I to the Grammy Museum for the first time. <laughs> it's gonna look but very, very good. act like it never happens. I don't remember BTS being invited to the Grammy Museum. Must have slipped my mind up. Well, mayhaps they didn't have any internet in that day. Anyway, in October 2018, <laughs> Big Hit anyway. announced that they have submitted BTS for six Grammy Awards. What? And as always, there's people who make fun of this. BTS stands think they are getting Grammy. Wait, what, what do they mean they've submitted? They submitted BTS for six Grammy Awards. Like. Anyway, in October 2018, Big Hit announced that they have submitted BTS for I'm six behaving. Grammy Awards. Come on, my best behavior. And as always, there's people who make fun of this. BTS stands think they are getting Grammy nomination tomorrow. BTS stands really think they gonna get a Grammy nomination for their faves. <coughs> Unfortunately there isn't a Grammy for having Twitter follower huh? It's earned and you can't vote. Fun fact, Big Sweat will never touch a Grammy, and in a few years, they will be forgotten. Jokes on them ha ha <laughs> because BTS got their first Perfect Grammy timing. nomination, right after they said that. Even though it's for their album design, I'm it's so still sorry. a nomination, I meant it. and it's still an achievement for BTS and ARMY. But of course, some people were pressed about it, and they can't accept the fact that Love Yourself Tear got a Grammy nomination for Best Recording Package. They said Tear album what is that? design looks like the hair on their shower wall. Well, a nomination is still a nomination at least we got one, and who knows what will happen in the future mayhaps we might even win one. And this design is a masterpiece. I like that the design designer though. worked so hard for this please respect. After BTS got a Grammy nomination. Haters trying to find something about BTS to hate on, and they come up with this one. No grammars invite no opinion. But Karma love BTS so much. <laughs> on February 4th... <laughs> hey, I, I do find it funny how folks are saying no Grammy invite no opinion, but you weren't, you weren't invited to the Grammy. So how do you have an opinion? How? I'm confused. They just ignoring themselves? You weren't invited, and you probably never will be. You should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm just not getting it. <laughs> no, no, Grammy invite, no opinion. <laughs> but you weren't. <laughs> you 
weren't even thought of. So, <laughs> alright, bro, that's that. Uh, whatever. <laughs> no 10 mil, no opinion. This is going on YouTube, by the way. I should say this. Hi, name is Child Louie. We're watching Karma's an Army. I've been requesting this for a minute. Tribe Chat is up here. Say hi, Tribe Chat. This is our second YouTube video done, by the way. Like, very random. I did spring this upon them, like, that we're doing a, a YouTube vid. I just realized this would be a great YouTube vid. Self Tier got a Grammy nomination for Best <laughs> Recording Package. They said <clears throat> Tier album design looks like the hair on their shower wall. Well, a nomination is still a nomination. At least we got one. And who knows what will happen yeah, in just, the future. Yeah, Mayhaps we might even win one. Like... And this design is a masterpiece. The designer worked so hard for this. Please respect. Nah, for real respect. After BTS got a Grammy nomination, haters trying to find something about BTS to hate on. <laughs> I need that picture. And they come up with this one. No Grammys invite, no opinion. Right. But Karma love BTS so much. On February 4th, 2019, Variety announced that BTS will appear as presenters at the 61st Annual Grammys, which also fulfilled BTS's dream to attend the ceremony. <laughs> After the ceremony, <laughs> BTS were also invited to an exclusive Grammy winners event only. BTS was honored with an invitation to take portrait at the Grammy backstage studio which only Grammy winners are allowed to to have their portraits taken by the famous photographer Danny Clinch. Yes, BTS did that. <gasps> now let's talk about BTS concert. BTS can only solve- It's just a little bit disrespectful at this point, right? Like, am I tripping or- <laughs> Am I tripping or is it getting disrespectful? It's like, Karma's like, oh nah, it's not enough that they're invited. No, no. We want y'all to know that. They went basically backstage behind the scenes and took pictures so that it is it's like dang oh how much of an army is karma at that point y'all really helping us out bts can only sold out in uh, maybe english ain't y'all first languages but auto correct or something bts can only sold out 16k not more now let's talk about bts concert BTS can only sold out 16k not more it's their limit, while my fave sold out Jamsil 70k, and adding extra seats due to high demand. Okay, right. but a year after, BTS Love Yourself Tour in Seattle sells out with total 90k seats in Jamsil Stadium. Oh. They said BTS can't sell out more than 16k, oh. looks like it was wrong haha. <laughs> oh. Oh. LMFAO -O 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 -O. until BTS <laughs> has concert at Tokyo. <laughs> I'm sorry. It said BTS can't sell out more than 16k. <laughs> Looks like it was wrong. Haha. <laughs> -ha. <laughs> LMFAO. -O 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 -O. Whoa, 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 until whoa, whoa, whoa. BTS has concert at Tokyo Dome, then you can talk. But for right now, continue with these self drags. Yeah, really just helping us out. Well, looks like we can talk now. Because last November, BTS performed in Tokyo Dome for Love Yourself Tour and the tickets sold out for two days. Oh my god. So, who dragged themselves in the end? For sure, it's not armies. Oh god, it's not. <gasps> Does BTS really think they can sell Zigo Dome? I said. I want to read that. Hold on, hold on. Dunked BTS new act that the Zigo Dome kunan. With Verkopen. Cat. <laughs> That's my response to you. Drag yourself. It's hilarious. I saw that. I saw that. That's Dutch. The Flying Dutchman? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to invalidate y'all language. That's just what popped up in my head. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. That, like, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Belgium. Drag themselves in the end. For sure it's not armies. Oh god. <gasps> Does BTS really think they can sell Zigo Dome? I've said that Karma love BTS, but I'm saying it again, because in June 2018, Zigo Dome announced that BTS concert is completely sold out. Once again proving that BTS are capable to sell every dome they went to. <laughs> they are aiming for national stadia. <laughs> These are pictures is funny though, like. Dome they went to. <laughs> they are aiming Devious for national ass. stadium in Singapore. LMRO, you think you can fill that up? That stadium got filled up during national day only. So like they expect the whole nation to stand them. LMRO. Karma come through. Toggle SG announced that BTS is the first Korean act. Oh to my perform god. This is crazy though. Like, 
This is kind of crazy, bruh. That's the national stadium. So the whole nation stands them. I mean, by your logic, random uh tweet, tweet, tweet. The whole nation is standing BTS. Every dome they went to. <gasps> they are aiming for national stadium in Singapore. LMRO, you think you can fill that up? That stadium got filled up during national day only. So like they expect the whole nation to stand them. LMRO. Come a come through. Toggle SG announced that BTS is the first Korean act to perform at the Singapore National Stadium, and they also the first one to sell it out. After all, I guess the whole nation really stand That's BTS. That's what I'm out. saying. That's Ooh. what I'm saying. We are living in a world where BTS really think they can sold out City Field. I never thought the end of the world will happen so soon. Let's talk when their show will be sold out, which mean we will never talk because they wouldn't sell so many tickets. Oh well, well, well. The truth is there is overwhelming. They wouldn't sell so many. Oh, my mentor looks so well, 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 well. well. majestic. The truth is there is overwhelming demand for BTS. Therefore, the tickets for BTS City they just Field concert us. is no longer available, which means they sell out City Field Stadium. I honestly amazed how haters always find a way to ridicule BTS and Army. Just look at this tweet. OP only said that they wished BTS will perform in Rossabol Stadium someday. This tweet didn't contain any hate towards the other, but the reply under it is crazy. Keep on dreaming, sweetie. Have fun trying. It is actually not explicit and less offensive than other hate comments towards BTS and ARMY. But the fact that they doubt us for every single thing is ridiculous. Like, why can't niggas just breathe? But at the end of the day, BTS and ARMY can achieve everything, and BTS really going to perform in Rossabol and any other stadium. Therefore today's episode of Karma is an ARMY ended here. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, and thanks Don't for Don't apologize watching. for none. He ain't gotta apologize for nothing. Can we watch one more chop? I like can we watch like three, maybe like let's watch like four more. I ain't gonna lie. Let's watch until like we y'all down for okay, baby, baby, baby. I'm perfect. I'm I'm not perfect, I'm happy. Hello um. Hello armies. I'm back again to fill your army ego. First of all, <laughs> this video is not yeah, intended you know. to hate other groups in any way. I'm glad that you said I this. made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Because you don't know what karma will do to you someday. And excuse me for Yeah, I, I, I I'm 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 fascinated by all of this because I'm genuinely confused as to why the hatred is there. Like what did BTS ever say anything about like <clears throat> any of these people or even EXO? Like what what No, 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 it didn't. So I'm um is it just a is it just a competition taken too far? And these niggas don't they just don't know where where what the lines are? Like Actually, they used to praise other K-pop groups a lot. They broke the stat. They're definitely way too competitive. It's just jealousy. They want their face to be number one. But this is like, they're like, it's vitriol though. Like they're very, is that the word I'm, 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 I'm thinking of? Hold on, let me make sure. Of criticism. Like, yeah, why, why is it like that? Like it's just for, and it's for no reason. This is like, thank you, thank you very much. I've been reading. I'm back again to fill your army ego. First of all, Eggos. this like video Eggos. is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. I made this video to show you, you that you so shouldn't cool. belittle yeah, a group cool. or any human being just because they have a dream. <laughs> because you don't know what karma Are will like do to you someday. Me or and excuse me, me for grammar scratch, mistakes, because we be new I sucks in English. <laughs> yeah, the now let's is start. Creeping me out. <laughs> Before Big Hit announced BTS Love Yourself Speak Yourself yeah, Tour, to some people think BTS will never perform in a big stadium like Rossabol. But after Big Hit announced BTS Stadium Tour, they started to doubt if BTS will ever sell out the, the show. Kinda funny. Can they even fill the stadium? Are they sure they have a fan base here to sell out Wembley? Mayo. You are not that famous beach. Armpits really think BTS gonna sell out those stadiums tomorrow. Looking forward to the downfall. LMFRO baby, if y'all can't face the fact that BTS probably won't fill up Soldier Field or any other stadium in America. BB we talking about 56k plus, but we will wait and see. Okay, let's see. On March 1st BTS sold out Wembley a stadium with 90k capacity in just 90 minutes. 
and not long after that, the tickets for Stade de France also sold out. Oh. Tickets for Osobol, MetLife, and Soldier Field is also sold out in no time. In conclusion, BTS just sell out five stadium concerts in less than a day, <laughs> resulting in an overall sellout over 300k seats in one day. StubHub also announced that BTS Love Yourself World Tour is their highest selling tour of the year, and it is also their third biggest in history. And it's not over yet. A day after BTS sell out their tickets, BTS announced additional concert dates for sold out stadiums on Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour, so BTS will have a two day show in Wembley, Stade de France, Rosabol, MetLife, and Soldier Field. And on March 8th, BTS sold out their second date at Wembley Stadium, with approximately 180k tickets sold. He's In amazing. fact, the demand for second day show is more than the first one. What? For their first day show, the people who were waiting in the queue were 245k, and for their second day show, the people who were waiting in the queue were 271k, which is 30k more than the first day demand. And BTS not only <laughs> sold out their second day show at Wembley, yeah. but also sold out at Stade de France and Rossabol on March 11th. Michael Ace Jesus, buddy as hell, boy. Faru's pixelated as shit. <laughs> at Wembley, oh but God. also sold out at Stade de France and Rossabol oh, no. on March 11th. Tickets for BTS show in Brazil also sold out in less than two hours. Brazil. More precisely one hour 15 minutes, resulting in additional second date show in Allianz Park. Following their first day success, BTS second date show were sold out in just two hours. After sell out those stadiums, BTS broke the record of the most attended world tour for a Korean artist, with over 1.8 million attendance oh with 50 shows. God. BTS did that. And that's what I called legends. Oh god, bro. Let's move to the next case. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard is people assuming BTS popularity is going down just because of, these... of TXT. Hold on, and what? There is people. Let's move to the next case. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard is people assuming BTS popularity will going down just because of TXT. And they really have an earth to think that BTS comeback will be flop. We don't need a Lamayamipedia sheet to stay relevant. We all know their global comeback is gonna flop so hard. Oh, there. <laughs> um, I don't know if you just started tweaking out in the middle of your typing, but why, why, shorty, capital? Like, what's? We all know their global comeback. Like, <laughs> it's gonna flop. Like, what happened? You? you clearly no. So you posted that despite everything else being like you didn't notice that. Come on, come on. That's just laziness. <laughs> that's really laziness, right? <laughs> like, that's so noticeable. That means you were so furious. <laughs> you were so furious that you didn't even care. Like, you just. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, I think it's just kind of pathetic. I ain't gonna lie, bro. At least you get the, the, the spelling right. Like, come on. <laughs> They really have an earth to think that BTS comeback will be flop. We don't need a Lamayamipedia <laughs> sheet to stay relevant. This is the type of shit you delete. Like, comeback is gonna flop so hard, they're already losing hype. Says Actually, who? many of you don't realize it, but it's a good thing TXT is getting a lot of attention. It means that a lot of armies are leaving BTS for TXT, which further means that BTS's fame and success is going downhill. It's just the beginning. Says I'm who? So like who? <laughs> I'm sorry, but even Recording Academy hey, said laugh. BTS are unlikely to slow down anytime soon, and I have to agree with that statement. Because BTS pre-order sale for their new album is rapidly increasing. In just 24 hours, Map of the Soul Persona reached 56k pre-orders on K-Town for you. Meanwhile Love Yourself tier only reached 20k, and Love Yourself Answer only reached 27k so pre-orders in the span of 24 hours on K-Town for you. The pattern it is means up. Persona pre-order is almost twice as much as Answer pre-order, and it's from K-Town for you only. Who the hell is that? Not long after I mean, what is that? open the pre-order. Persona immediately rank number one on Cinera, and also rank one on Amazon. Meanwhile there's a cuter pre-order Persona on Aladdin, because there's so many people who wants to purchase at the same time. Even buying an album is like ticketing now. 
Also until March 16th Chinese Army's pre-order reached 278k copies, which consist of pre-orders from famed sites, online shops, and individual orders, and Beidou Jungkook Bar is the first fan base to reach 50k album pre-orders in- Jungkook owns China? My fault. I don't know. My brain just needs to chill, like, and I can't just say shit, bro. like, I can't just say stuff like this. Okay, but Jungkook Bar? What? He does? Since when? That's fire as shit. He has a bar though? K-Town for you is one of the official big suppliers. Can you own like a, like a, what is China? Like a country, city, a base? Yes, he does. Oh, interesting. That was me thinking. I'm trying to shake my head up. I mean, I'm trying to shake my brain up. I mean, wake my brain up. Oh, I'm out of here. Fuck myself. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I did help. I'm like, just for a tad. Damn. I'm just for a second. Just for a second, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That's bloody hell. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Fun fact. No, nah, I'm not telling y'all this because if we ever meet up in person, you will abuse this knowledge. I'm good. In Leicester, which consists of pre orders from fame sites, online shops, and individual orders. And Beidou Jungkook Bar is the first fan base to reach 50k album pre orders in less than four days. For the latest update, Persona is currently number one bestseller on Amazon US, number one on Amazon Canada, number four on Amazon UK, and number one bestseller on K-Town for you with approximately 121k copies. And not only excel in pre-order sales, BTS also reportedly will be the musical guest on SNL on April 13th. This will be their well reportedly will be the musical guest on SNL on April 13th. This will be their worldwide comeback with a global stage to reveal new track performance for the first time on SNL. We can say this is an upgrade from the last time on God. when BTS made a comeback on BBM as this comeback great from the last time when BTS. So why they only why they why they only had JK show feet though like. Oh no, Hobie. Hobie sneaking some in there. <laughs> but his position. Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, it's literally. <laughs> My dog is giggling, feet kicking in the air. The first time on SNL. We can say this is an upgrade from the last time when BTS made a comeback on BBM as. This comeback also gained so many <laughs> attention from Western media. They all collectively promoting BTS like there is no tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. So, BTS comeback is gonna flop, ha. Huh? Well, we are flop to flop mayo. No one doing it like BTS indeed. <laughs> BTS can't even get a pack. Can BTS stands get a job? What you are doing isn't reviving your fave's dad career. Go stream their songs. What are they talking about? They can't get a- What is a pack? That man even got a pack. What your does that mean? Will what does that mean? I try but they will never come near what this other group has achieved. So sleep and take some growth vitamins. First. Perfect all kill. What does that mean though? Like, like, a, like a perfect score? Like a strike essentially? Oh, Korean charts, on Korean charts. Perfect all kill is number one on all Korean charts. Mm, okay, okay, I like that. I'm sorry, but like when I'm insulting someone, I don't tell them to go to sleep and take growth vitamins. BTS Whatever. can't even get a pack. Can BTS stands get a job? What you are doing as isn't boring creative your as their career. Face. Go stream their songs. That man even got a pack. You're a pack. Did you know off your brain? Trying, yeah, never come yeah, yeah what I'm locked in. I'm not gonna lie. Like, so sleep disgusting and take some so You gotta go. Bye, Super Who. First of all, strong power. Thank you for encouraging Armist to stream. On what God. a supportive queen. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Anyways, just a day after, BTS finally achieves their first ever perfect all kill with fake love. Those hate comments didn't age well, and karma is indeed an army. <gasps> Do you remember Pyeongchang Olympic? Hell At nah. first we thought BTS were not invited to that event, and some people were clowning BTS because of it, but it turns out that BTS were actually invited by the executive director Song Sung-hwan, they wanted to bring BTS to the Olympic closing, 
and they tried to cast BTS since 2017, but was unable due to the possibility of BTS overseas schedule. <laughs> so they've been trying to get these niggas and after to pull that, Jin suddenly upload a video of him chilling with some chickens at a farm, which means BTS didn't have an overseas schedule at that time, and other fandoms were mad about it. They said BTS were late. But what is my boss doing, though? Like, and he looked like the most attractive farmer I've ever seen in my life. And after that, Jin suddenly uploaded a video of him chilling with some chickens at a. <laughs> so mad random though i i feel it he seems to be very good with animals somehow or like i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to understand farm which means bts didn't have an overseas schedule at that time and hey. other fandoms were mad about it they said bts were lazy and so on but then again bts couldn't perform on the olympic because of the possibility of overseas schedule a possibility so it wasn't a confirmed schedule in the first place <laughs> schedule. and after the whole thing about the Olympics, his lips are so juicy some people who still salty <laughs> were so sure that bts wouldn't oh get any God. award at kma since today most armies are celebrate the karma's army for that olympic news tomorrow our fandom can celebrate and drag bts army down for not getting d sang at korean grammy kma have fun tomorrow well Stay pressed, because BTS actually win Musician of the Year at KMA 2018. This is the first time for K-pop idol to win such award. Not only that, in February 26, 2019, BTS got Musician of the Year award for the second time, and they also got Song of the Year award and Best Pop Song award at KMA 2019. I'm not saying that BTS just made history, but that's exactly well, what I'm saying. I was gonna saying. say, that's... <laughs> If they are so great, why does not the president send celebration to them? It's just a political offense. They said they are already worldwide, but why haven't the Korean president acknowledged them? The difference between nation's pick and social artist are too much. Nation's pick based on talents. Bro, y'all niggas just, y'all so blatantly move the goalposts. It's crazy. Uh, like, now, now they gotta get acknowledged by the president? I'm saying ha 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 ha. <laughs> if they are so great, why does not the president send celebration to them? It's just a political offense. They said they are already worldwide, but why haven't the Korean president acknowledged them? The difference between nation's pick and social artist are too much. Nation's pick based on talents and acknowledged by their own country, while social artist based on most retweets on Twitter because irrelevant in their own country. Maybe they forgot that the GP was upset with that UN speech because it came off as them promoting their music. First of all, it's so unnecessary to bring up politics into fandom war. Oh Second of all, it's so childish of them to discrediting BTS and especially Namjoon for his UN speech. I never watched it that speech. It was a really I, important I need to. speech. And even if Namjoon talking about their music, it is because it was relevant for the topic. And actually, UN speech by BTS is RM used as part of school curriculum in various countries. The response from Korean net is also really positive. They are fascinated at Namjoon's speech, they feel proud, and they really appreciate how diverse BTS are. And as a gift of their UN speech, BTS received custom watches from President of South Korea. Oh yeah, <laughs> you must be shitting your pants like from fury. From fury! You talking all that shit and these and karma's like nah we forget all that online like validation no 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 this is real life movement this is real life motion they're like nah we don't want none of that online let me get some watches <laughs> so whenever y'all talking shit hey where what time is it oh 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 i'm sorry uh, this this watch from the president kind of hard to read you know presidential status is oh, I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> I think it's time for me. This presidential watch said I can't be around niggas that's lame. I'm out of here, bro. I just want one of these. I want. I want them to flex so badly. I'm scared a lot of folks getting in. Why do you think I shut down the door? <laughs> Look, you getting invited. If you get invited, it's because we, we, you know, we, we understand your vibe. I've been shut down the doors. I shut down the doors a while ago. Niggas in the comments asking, how you have a Discord? Where's the Discord? Discord? I, I don't even know what that is. 
as Louis reacted to their first U.N. Nah, I ain't, I ain't react to no U.N. speech yet. Gift of their U.N. speech. BTS received custom watches from President of South Korea. What do they look the like? The watches have the President's signature inside the face, and an inscription on the back reads putting people first, considered to be the President's philosophy. President Moon Jae-in also congratulate BTS for topping Billboard 200 chart with Love Yourself oh 2. Oh my god. He appreciate the sincerity <laughs> of BTS's dance and singing. He also appreciate them for their melody and lyrics which transcend regional borders, language, culture, and institutions. He also said that BTS will be remembered for a long time. So BTS is nah, 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 I'm not that BTS that. will be remembered for a long time. Damn. This nigga wrote a, a, a damn near essay for these niggas. What? The most you can get from our US president in relations to anything music related is nothing. Because that nigga Joe Biden is literally a reptilian lizard. At least with at least with Barack, we got a list every now and then of his favorites for the year. This nigga Joe Biden can't even get off the stage without falling. Like you definitely can't expect <laughs> you can't expect no recommendations from him institutions he also said that bts will be remembered for a long time damn so bts is actually well appreciated by the president but in october 10 2018 a petition demanding for bts disbandment was filled to the blue house over 3k Four. koreans have signed for that petition and apparently it was because of the issue about BTS military service extension which isn't true at all. BTS were just an object of South Korean politician for military extension debate. BTS themselves said they will definitely enlist for military service to clear the rumors. And in October 14th, which is just four days after that petition, BTS attend Korea France companionship concert in Paris. President Moon also attend the event and they meet at that place. BTS also extended their contract with Big Hit for seven more years in October 17th. They basically showing those people that a petition couldn't stop them for reaching their dreams and I just, continue to do what they love. The petition even seems like I'm a sorry, I just really like how they don't even talk online. They let their actions speak, bro. That's some heavy shit, though. Like, that's some heavy... That's... Hey, hey, this is, I, I do want to employ that method, bro, where it's like, you don't even respond to what they say, but you show them. Like, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even moving like how you want me to move. Like, <laughs> I'll show you versus tell you. I'm going to respect somebody that does that way more. Like, they don't waste their time for real, bro. I like that. Yeah, they're not even worth chatting with. Hip concert in Paris. President Moon also attend the event and they meet at that place. BTS also extended their contract with Big Hit for seven more years in October 17th. They basically showing those people that a petition couldn't stop them for reaching their dreams and continue to do what they love. The petition even seems like a joke after BTS awarded Order of Cultural Merit by Korean government in October 25th. They become the youngest recipients for the award. And recently, BTS were added into South Korean national anthem. All of those things proves that BTS is indeed well respected. They got added to well the national anthem? And they are indeed national treasure in South Korea. <gasps> That's it for today's episode. And please remember that we shouldn't underestimating any other group or fandom. Nah, we don't need to do the same thing as they do. And the comeback is really near. There will be so many people who will discrediting <laughs> BTS and armies, Aww. but just ignore, and we will prove them wrong when the time comes, because Karma is army, and she loves BTS. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Love yourself, love myself, peace. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> hey bro. I'm having fun with this, I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> that made me laugh, that made me laugh, I ain't gonna hold you, what was I supposed to do, my finger was stuck, though, like, because karma is army, and she loves BTS, thank you for watching, and I'm sorry, if I offended anyone, love yourself, <laughs> love myself, <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> That's a little funny. I ain't gonna lie, that's a little funny. <laughs> alright, alright. But, but y'all not letting me thank y'all, bro. We reached half a thousand subscribers in four days. Can I say thank you, bro? Thank you. 
<laughs> for real, bro. Yeah, I, I didn't even tell y'all to follow me or nothing, bro. Yeah, I just. I appreciate y'all, that ass, bro. Like, I feel like it's it's mad organic, and I I think that's that's what I want my whole career to be. Like, no, y'all can't thank me as I'm thanking you. That you can't do that. That's like. Hello, armies. Some of you have been asking me for another Karma is an Army video, I and I also said that I will make a part 3, yes. but I never really did it. In fact I was gone for so long, but BTS is back and now I'm also back to fulfill my promise. Hey, First of like all, I didn't filler. intended to hate any other groups in any ways. And excuse me for grammar mistakes, cause we been new I sucks in English. <laughs> now let's start. On August 11th, Big Hit announced that for the first time since debut, BTS will be going on an official extended period of rest and relaxation. In this announcement, Big Hit clearly said that BTS will return and continue their activity after their short vacation. But some people saw that as a sign that BTS will never come back again just like 1D. Goodbye BTS. We saw what that period of rest worked out for One Direction. Oh I feel sorry for the ones who seem to think it is only a two months break. Honey, literally 1D have been saying the same thing for years. Are they back? No, but believe what you want to believe. LMFROOOO, BTS literally still have 7 years contract with Big Hit, and before they were going on their vacation, Big Hit already announced their upcoming Speak Yourself concert in Saudi Arabia and Seoul on October. It's impossible for them to disband just like that. And no, they are not 1D, they are BTS. You sounds ridiculous. If you compare BTS situations with 1D, I'm not gonna talk about 1D issue though. But the T is, BTS is BTS. They are still together, and they are happy about it. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, we all know BTS is already back from their vacation. So what you gonna do about it? Let's move to the next case. Do you still remember how some people said that BBN as top social artist is a paper award and how it's a form of western validation? Here, listen to what they said. Do they really think that paper award is prestigious award? Like seriously. It's their only pride. It's kinda sad. Billboard is more irrelevant, most especially when they win social paper award, not even music These related. Niggas just be chatting, this is the bro. truth, and for K-pop group it's really irrelevant. The difference between the real medal from Korean government, and a paper card replica award from BBMA. Laughing in karma ha 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 ha. Earlier this year they ended up voting for those irrelevant paper award, and wanting for those western validation. And this is their defense for it. Loud as you want. It's not us that telling this BBM to nominated my fave with your social award in the first place. Blame that BBM -er, and as long as my fave nominated, we will vote. I mean, that's literally the reason why armies were voting for BTS in 2017. But they said it was irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this picture of my mentor is tough though. Like, my finger is on that button. I'm here. I'm locked in and engaged. I ain't gonna hold you, bro were voting for BTS in 2017, but they said it was irrelevant, a western validation, a paper award, blah blah blah, and suddenly <laughs> it's all okay, it's now a worthy award, because they wanted to vote for their faves. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the group, it's good for them, but it's just annoying, how most of those <laughs> who's praising their faves recognition in the west- I'm sorry, but I have to- Kendrick has inspired me, Not I hate the way they type. I hate the way they talk. I hate the way they drive. <laughs> Y'all know nothing about that. Being normal, no nothing about that. <laughs> what is it? The braids? <laughs> what is it, bro? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Okay, I'm done. I just had to get that off my chest. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, come on, bro. But if I express these sentiments, oh, you're you're taking it too seriously. You, it's not that. Shut up. I hate Best you. Were the one who belittled BTS and Army though our worthy award because they wanted to vote for their faves. <laughs> I don't I'm I'm get I'm me wrong. <laughs> I have nothing against the group. It's good for them, but it's just annoying. How most of those who's praising their faves recognition in the West were the one who belittled BTS and Armies because we got those said recognition before them. And not only that, they also said that the only award Bangton can win are a paper award. But hey, Karma wanted to say hi. 
because earlier this year BTS were nominated for Top Group Award at the BBM as. And on May 2nd, BTS is the first and the only Korean act to win Top Group Award at the BBM as. They are also the first <laughs> and the only Korean act <laughs> to win Top Social Artist for three consecutive years. Legends indeed. <gasps> Who's that now nigga? we gonna talk about Platinum Certificate. After Love Yourself her sold with 1 million copies on December 2017, uh -huh. some people accused that it was a sad GG because BTS didn't get platinum plaques for that. What is that? Like a former soju? What is that? What is that? Sad GG? Is that a flavor? No. Is that plagiarism? No. That's faking, right? I remember my, 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 my boss mentioned something like this. Like chart manip mm -hmm. After Love Yourself her sold with 1 million copies on December 2017. Some people accused that it was a sad GG because BTS didn't get platinum plaques for that. Platinum plaque is a proof <laughs> that a group sold platinum. 1 million. My fave has certified platinum plaques for all their albums that sold 1 million in No Korea. one cares! Uh, not receiving I'm one getting just upset. Another proof of sale manipulation. They outsold but still don't have their own platinum plaque? Where is your platinum plaque? For those who don't know, Sajiji means chart manipulation. The tribe told it's me you're late. It's usually defined by a company bulk buying copies of their- <laughs> Hey! Uh, yeah, see, yeah, see, this is live of oh, what my computer can like. Did we just jump from three to four? I bet. They outsold but still don't have their own <clears throat> platinum plaque? Where is your platinum plaque? For those who don't know, Sajiji means chart manipulation. <laughs> it's usually defined by a company bulk buying copies of their own albums in order to get higher on the charts. And BTS has been accused for so many times. For this case, there's actually no official recording sales certification in Korea. Ages ago there was an organization in Korea that used to do certification. 5k was gold and 10k was platinum. That organization stopped doing certifications and currently there's no organization that certificates music in Korea. This proves that BTS didn't do any Sajiji just because they didn't get platinum plaques because the organization itself is yeah, non-existent. it doesn't even exist anymore. We don't know where the other group got their platinum plaque. But that's the fact. For now BTS will- Wait, what? So other groups got their- Hold on, hold on, what? How did the other groups- How are you still live? Hi, Ray. I don't. I don't even know. I feel like I've been live for four hours. We've been live for almost eight hours. Like, I don't even know what's going on. What's there to hate about you? I don't know. Probably I talk too much. I move around too much. I look too much. <laughs> hey, bro. When you hating, you like they probably hate the way I talk, the way I dress. I'm playing. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm sorry. It's just bro, I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this proves that okay. BTS didn't I do love any Sajiji just Yasu. because they didn't get platinum plaques, because the organization itself is non-existence. We don't know where the other group got their platinum plaque, but that's the fact. For now BTS already got 5 golds and 2 platinums which certificated by RIRA. Yeah. Other than that, Love Yourself fans are also eligible for RIRA platinum certification. And Love Yourself tier is eligible for our <laughs> Ira Gold job, certification in last <laughs> September. Let's say thank you for Queen Karma. <gasps> this time we are going to talk about BTS solo project. Just like how some people always underestimate BTS as a group. They also underestimate BTS solo project. In 2017 there's an article that said, Namjoon failed solo attempt. And it proves. Who the fuck said that? And they made it into an article? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flag on the ma, 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 on the plate. It's like the Twitter folks found out they could have jobs. <laughs> like, what? they realized that it's not on Twitter and they can, like, they can, like, go somewhere else. Yes, solo project. Just like how some people always underestimate BTS as a group. They also underestimate BTS solo project. In 2017 there's an article that said, Namjoon failed solo attempt, and it proves that he's nothing without BTS. This article was posted after Namjoon's collaboration with Wale. Yeah, that was a collaboration, and it was not a solo attempt. 
he never attempted to be a soloist, and if you still remember, when Bang PD asked him to choose between BTS and solo, he answered confidently without a doubt that he will choose BTS. Damn. So it's crystal clear Damn. that he never ever attempt to be a soloist, and it makes this article sound like a joke already. And the reason why this article said that Namjoon failed was because they compared the views from BTS official MV with Namjoon and Wala's collaboration MV, which I think was really dumb because you- Bro, what? Man, y'all niggas can't even pull these views talking crazy like you pulling numbers. First of all, number one, that was- I love he considered that collab for the streets. My nigga, that's like- That was a collab with somebody that is like in on the culture. And for him to even, for them to even know each other, that was like Namjoon. Like, that was like a, a nod, a, a head nod to where shit originates, bruh. So, of course, it's not going to attract that many views, especially when these niggas is rapping about real. I remember that song, too. These niggas was talking about the education system, how it was fucking people over. Like, come on, bro. This article said that Namjoon failed was because they compared <laughs> Literally the views remember from this BTS man, official MV with Namjoon and Wala's collaboration and so y'all, like... <laughs> <laughs> Which I think was really dumb, because you can't compare those. BTS MV is official, there's a promotion for it so everyone will know when the MV will be uploaded. We know the exact date, exact day, exact hour, and we were waiting for it to be released. Meanwhile RM and Wala's collaboration was so sudden, it was out of nowhere. I still remember, when it came out I was so shocked, because I suddenly got a notification from Big Hit on YouTube. And it turns out that they were releasing Namjoon and Wala's collaboration MV. There's literally zero promotion for it, so it's understandable why it didn't got as much views as BTS official MV. Oh yeah, it's of a baseless judgment. If you said he was failed just yeah, because of cool, that, Paul. and not only this article, some people were like convinced you. that BTS solos will be flop. On that note. Can't wait for BTS to disband and flop their solos. How is Big 4 million like BTS will flop hard flop. if there is solo and subunit? They don't even have solo activities. J Hope's mixtape will flop cause no one from BTS can be successful solo. Just look at Namjoon and Suga's solos LMRO. They aren't my faves. In fact, most groups don't have members with successful solos. I mean, look how that, like, like y'all just don't learn. Niggas is not good learners, bro. I learn from my mistakes. I mean, I make them a couple times before I learn, but come on, bro. Now everybody solos is hitting so heavily to the point where it's like, oh my God. Y'all niggas could be like solo artists, like actually though. They didn't censor the G drive. I ain't want to say it, bro. But yeah, once I saw the G and then I saw the, I saw the, I see the D and I see this fat ass D right here, bro. Like, come on, y'all. Y'all couldn't have made the censor thing a little wider, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, bro. There's like. Can be successful solo. Just look at Namjoon and Suga's solos LMRO. They aren't my faves. In fact, most groups don't have members with successful solos. Oh, yeah? Let's be real. Let's be real. The truth is that any member of BTS that has solos will flop. They just ain't that relevant on their own. They aren't as relevant as my fave and that's just the tea. First of all, BTS solo project is different with other groups solos. Because BTS solos wasn't official. It's just their way to improve their producing skills, writing skills, <laughs> rapping that, skills, and singing skills. No one forced them to release a solo work. They just did it because they want to. There is no promotion for it, and they release it as a free track. Mm. I think that's cool how they focused on BTS instead of debuting as a soloist. That's more healthy for the group relationship in my opinion. It is. So please understand about this first. And now we will talking about BTS <laughs> solo projects and this will be kind of So you can funny, sit like... down and eat your cookies while watching this. Yo. <gasps> they said BTS solos will flop because they thought Namjoon and Jungi's mixtape were flop. I will assume they were talking about Namjoon's first mixtape. It was called stupid. RM. And stupid. it was released on March 2015. At that time BTS were still small. So anything coming from them will most likely get a little attention. That's why Namjoon's first mixtape wasn't known worldwide. G. It was not necessarily flop. Because BTS themselves didn't that big either. <gasps> August D was released in 2016. And it was the most awaited mixtape at that time. And two years after it's released, August D has risen to number 3 on the US iTunes album chart. 
On Spotify, the mixtape has accumulated over 4.5 million listens in less than 24 hours after it was available on Spotify. And now, Augusti's Spotify stream has surpassed 73 million. Iconic. <laughs> now let's talk about Hope World. Banger. When it was released, Daydream MV was the fastest MV. Whoa. Didn't to mean to hit that. 1 million like. And Hope World peaked at number one on iTunes in 50 regions. <laughs> Thus Hobie become a pop soloist with the most number one, beating the previous record by GD. And now Hope World has surpassed 160 million streams on Spotify. Oh my Meanwhile, god, Hope what? World has surpassed 160 million streams on Spotify. <laughs> Meanwhile J-Hope is the most followed Korean soloist on Spotify with 2 million followers. And following the huge success of CNS collaboration with Becky G, Hobie now holds the record for soloist with the most iTunes for songs category. He is nowhere near flop. He outsold everyone. <laughs> he On outsold October everyone. 21, 2018, Namjoon announced the release date of Mono playlist, which was only two days after this announcement. Before the release date, this person said Mono will never reach number one because they think Mono can't beat a song which was a soundtrack for a popular movie. But three hours after it's released, Mono easily peaked at number one on iTunes in 78 regions. Three weeks after, Mono become the first Korean album to achieve number one on iTunes in 90 countries. It makes Namjoon become Korean solo with way, the most bro. number ones on iTunes for album category, and he still hold this record until now. Also, on May 15, Mono has bit, surpassed like... 100 million streams on Spotify. So, flopware, failed where, Namjoon is a legend period. <laughs> now let's talk about vocal line solos. I'm gonna make it short, because there's too much information already. Jimin's promise broke the 24-hour SoundCloud record with 8.5 million global streams which also broke Drake's record. And now it's surpassed 189 million streams. T. Hyung's scenery gained 5.95 million streams in the first 24 what? hours. What do you call that? Also had the most likes in 24 hours on SoundCloud. Now it has surpassed 151 million streams. It Jin still Sis holds Knight the accumulated record. Accumulated 5.58 million streams in 24 hours. It was the most commented song on SoundCloud and the most reposted BTS song in 24 hours. Young. And it's currently the 7th most streamed and 5th most liked BTS track on SoundCloud. For Jungkook, we are still patiently waiting for JJK1. But I'm sure it will also have amazing record once it's what released. What is JJK1? So, the whole point of this is BTS solos ain't flopping. There is no flop in BTS dictionary. Those who said BTS will flop if they released solo works. Congratulations, you are a whole damn circus, sir. And karma is indeed an army. Ha 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 ha. And that's it for today's episode. You can share your opinion in the comments that below. That was the old name for golden. For Morty. You missed the gin cask? Did I? Hold on. Oh. You and karma is indeed an army. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna let y'all have that. And that's it for today's episode. Psych! You can share your opinion in the comments <laughs> yeah, below. Thought. And subscribe for more tea. BTS. 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 I've gotten stabbed, bro. Like. <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> bro, you're not taking me seriously, bro. I'm a dangerous <laughs> being. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm dangerous, bro. Let's get some Louis figurines. Are we gonna watch part four? Hell yeah, hell yeah. As soon as you think it stop, stop calling me cute. Cute big stepper brother. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm so st What's going on? No. We were talking about merch. What is this? Hello armies. Hi. I'm back again with another Karma is an army video. Appreciate First you. First of all, this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. And excuse me for grammar Man, mistakes. Man, I'm a hater. Because knew I sucks in English. <laughs> I'm <laughs> hating. Now let's start. <laughs> the first topic is the classic D-Sang. Before 2016 BTS still didn't have any D-Sangs yet. And at that time, the boys said that getting a D-Sang is one of their biggest dream. Right. They want to receive it because it's D-Sang. It's something they can't even dream about before. Right. But they were insulted and got mocked for dreaming about it. 
On the week of their comeback, their melon rank was number 20. Considering YouTube views and digital sales, the other group is more likely to win at Isang. BTS physical sales are beaten by the other group. They have zero public recognition and their fandom is just starting to grow. He's going too far, isn't he said to be smart? He doesn't seem to know how to filter words. Well well well, let's see how many d sangs that BTS have now. As of January 30th 2020, BTS has a total of 40 d sangs which is the most in South Korean history. Including 3 d sang sweep from MMA 2019, MAMA 2019, and GDA 2020. They are the one and only Korean act who can snatch all of the d sangs from 3 major award shows in Korea. And recently they also win a D-Sang from the FAC Music Award, which means that they now have 41 D-Sangs in total. Did you see my bag? Did you see my bag? <laughs> but of course, people like to downplay BTS achievements, so now they claim Niggas, that, that got D-Sang a is not bag important full of anymore. Casings. It's irrelevant, rigged, and just an attendance award. Oh wow. award shows have completely lost their importance. A D-Sang no longer holds the same value it did before. Everything is rigged, everything's commercialized, nothing genuine and fair. I'm glad my faves decided that to focus on their own work X. and fans instead of O and E. Oh my god. At this point, don't even hop it. Like, like it's so freaking large. I guess I'm fat shaming because damn. <laughs> oh, well, we can't say that. No, we can't say that. Like, we gotta. In co out of context, that's crazy. But look at the EX. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Everything's commercialized. Nothing genuine and fair. I'm glad my faves decided to focus on their own work and fans instead of this. Oh, yeah. We know it's rigged when Mama decided to give D Sang to Bangtan. So, what's new? 38 rigged D Sangs. How funny BH do Sajigis since 2016. What? Funny. What sense. funny is they were so loud about how much d sangs that their faves got in 2016. They were mocking BTS because their faves got more d sangs But now they said it's irrelevant. Right. Re make it make sense, people. <laughs> Just say you are jealous and go. <gasps> now let's hear what some people think about the latest BTS comeback. BTS poppers will argue with other fandom about who started the tiny number trend while their MV is losing views. BC are worried about the wrong number. They flopped on YouTube. They stay for. Oh, you thought you cooked with that one? You thought you thought you ate with that one? You with other fandom about who started. I'm a hater, bro. Like, trend. While their MV is losing views, be so worried how there's about no the wrong number. Commas in your sentence. They flopped on YouTube. <laughs> they stay focusing on other groups instead of their faves as usual. Then they come crying when they can't get their 90 million goal. First of all, the one who started the tiny number discourse was the other fandom. We were just saying that the tiny seven is iconic because some big television account and celebrities also using it. No one said we started it, but the other fandom assumed that we did. So they started saying that they did it first. Second of all, BTS are not flopping, not on YouTube, not anywhere. One of the major reason why we couldn't reach our 24 hours goal is because YouTube has new rules which make it harder to gain views, and YouTube also constantly deleting and freezing our views, so it make it twice harder for us to break the record. Despite of that, an official music video broke the record for the most viewed premiere video on YouTube with 1.5 million views. On also broke the fastest MV to reach 10 million views in one hour five minutes. Was... Black Swan broke the record for the fastest MV to reach 1 million likes. And old man on the corner, selling pencils from a cup. Big man getting out <laughs> Hey bro, I'm overcome with Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright bro, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> no, no, that'd be so random. That'd be so random, right? Damn. Oh, but my heart started beating hard. Okay. That'd be like Black Swan broke the record for the fastest MV to reach 1 million likes. The Lord has spoken again. So many records and other platform too. So you can't associate BTS with the word flop because they just didn't meant to be together. 
<laughs> Back in 2016, it was still difficult for BTS to get 1 million pre-orders, and some people were underestimating them. ARM is going for a million pre-orders. I'd like to see them try. Million sellers on your dream big hit, lol. Thank you for your wish, oh but God. Karma is an army, and now in 2020, Map of the Soul 7 surpassed 3.42 million pre-orders in the first week, and a final 4.02 million pre-orders before its release Jesus. date, making it the most pre-ordered album ever from South Korea. It's a legend behavior I think. <gasps> Some people believe that BTS uses bundles to boost the sales of Map of the Soul 7 albums. It's ridiculous, but here's what they said. So ARM is in BTS and Bang PD once again for the billionth time taking a page out of other company groups books and going the bundle route. My faves truly paved the way. She really gave your life, and I'm glad to see you're not wasting it. Happy Chi. Oh I mean bundling. Happy bun- Um, but does this not- Does this not paint your fave in a- does not paint your fave in a negative light? I'm confused. This shit sends shivers down my spine. Like, not in a good way. This is the same vibe as when I seen that TikTok of that lady that was bouncing her head for the food. Yeah. I think the entirety of the world was the lady in the back looking at her like, um, it's time to go and never come back. We might have to stay in the crib forever. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate when people stutter in text. Yeah, because it's like you didn't, you added that. You did that per- okay. And going the bundle route, my faves truly paved the way. She really gave your life, and I'm glad to see you're not wasting it. Happy Chi. Oh, I mean bundling. Oh, you, Happy bundling. Oh, I've, you're Look not- Look at Bangtan not using bundles. Everyone let's clear the search. BTS uses bundles, BTS uses bundles, BTS uses bundles, BTS uses bundles. So, they said target deal buy two get one free is bundling, and vinyl package is also bundling. Well, they are really uneducated about this bundle thing, because what the heck, target deal is just you a marketing do gotta look strategy for the from target man. to sell their goods. It's not only BTS albums that got that deal, but other things too. Meanwhile this is the example Ow. of bundle. Basically when you buy merchandise like this hoodie, You'll also get an album with them. The album is attached to the merch to boost the album sales. And that counts That's as a... what bundle means. Yeah, okay. So yeah, BTS didn't do bundles for Map of the Soul 7. The sales are organic, no English album, no bundles, and no radio play. Well, it's actually kinda sad about no radio play, because it seems like they are trying to block BTS to chart higher. Mm. We didn't even get 200 spins. And only six stations that play BTS new title track. But in the end, BTS and only God. six block BTS to chart higher. We didn't even get 200 spins. And only six stations that play BTS new title track. But in the end, BTS and ARMY successfully reached number four in Billboard Hot 100 chart with On. Still... Meanwhile, Map of the Soul 7 reached number one in Billboard 200 chart with 420 to K sales and 347k in pure sales we can achieve all of that with organic sales we didn't need english album bundles and radio play to boost our sales our power is really that big because teamwork makes the dream work <coughs> let's move to the next case do you remember pc year 2019 yeah, at no. that time bts lost all of their pca categories what did that we mean? didn't win anything but based on the voting stats we were actually the number one in every nominations. And the concert tour category was particularly controversial. Because Love Yourself Tour had 2.06 million attendees. Which is way bigger than the winner. So it didn't make sense how BTS didn't win at least the concert tour category. They went to big stadiums. And broke so many records with it. How come they didn't win? They went to big stadiums. And broke so BTS Love Yourself Speak Yourself tour rats with staggering 117 million millions. I can't even I can't even count to that number. What? Six million attendees. I ain't even doing Which nothing. is way bigger than the winner. <laughs> so it didn't make sense how BTS at didn't shit, win like... at least the concert tour category. They went to big stadiums and broke so many records with it. How come they didn't win? So armies were mad about it. And I was we ended up charting doors. BTS entire album's discography in the US iTunes chart. Well, we have such a productive anger behavior. But of course karma is an army. Because not long after that, BTS win the exact same category in the era 2019. 
the best group is gonna win indeed, and that's BTS. <gasps> the next case is about Grammy. On November 20th, 2019, I don't really Grammy announced their nomination. I'm cold. I'm gonna grab a blanket. Hold on. Oh, are there some new armies here? Like some 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 armies that joined? Like, should I ask this question now or later? Because if I ask this, I'm gonna get invested into stories and shit like that. Nomination and BTS sadly were not nominated for anything. This was disappointing <laughs> because according to our latest album sales in November 2019, BTS Map of the Soul Persona was the number one best-selling album, but it didn't get the nomination that it deserved, so and we folks, know the reason why. It's the racism. And just like what we did before, we ended up charting BTS entire album's discography yeah. in the US iTunes chart again. It was to show them that we are bigger than they think we are, like how? and to show them that they can't ignore BTS forever. And now in March 2020, IFPI announced the global top albums of 2019. And BTS Persona is in top 3 of the list with 2.5 million units. And according to Chart Masters, BTS Persona is the number 1 global top albums of 2019. So it was kinda funny how BTS didn't get nomination for Album of the Year when they pretty much outsold everyone. <gasps> now let's talk about the Kingsman incident. But above Taylor Swift though? Nah, that deserves. Is in top 3 of the list with 2.5 million units. <laughs> and according to Chart <laughs> Masters, real, but... BTS Persona is the number one global top albums of 2019. So it was kind of funny how BTS didn't get nomination for um, album of the year when they pretty much outsold everyone. <laughs> now let's talk right. about the Kingsman incident in December 2019. Kingsman! Did BTS just have the exact same stage design as my faves for the second time? Someone's management team has been attending my faves concerts and taking notes. How are they gonna steal two set designs from us like no one what is we, gonna notice? What are they talking about? Well, I'm not really surprised, because it's not the first time for them to accuse BTS of plagiarism. I mean, Plagi it was obviously a Kingsman reference. Yourism. It's not like their fave zone Kingsman or anything. But the funner thing is, this BTS stage blew up and got the recognition from the author of Kingsman. He said he loved the performance, and he said that it will be cool to have BTS do a song for one of the movies. So yeah, that's that it will be cool to have BTS do a song for <laughs> Hey bro, could you imagine you tweet this and the owner of the entire situation is like, oh I, I thought it was amazing. You can't you can't do none but shut the hell up, right? <laughs> like you <laughs> what you what you do after that? Shut up. You shut up and sit down. You actually go hide somewhere. This VTS stage blew up <laughs> and got the recognition though. from the author of Kingsman. How you set yourself he up for these types of situations? Like and he said that it will be cool to have BTS do a song for one of the movies. So yeah, that's a karma for them. Oh, and God. also in Outro Ego MV, there's a Kingsman reference too. So, that BTS stage was probably just a spoiler for Ego MV. Maybe it's connected to the BTS universe story. And was right, meant to give some clue about How many BTS was that? <laughs> comeback in 2020. So it's not a plagiarism at all. It's not even about their faves at all. So please stop being delusional. The last topic for this video is about BTS and Parasite movie. I so, watched that! Some K-popers were mad because Armis and some other people talking about how BTS and Parasite movie being the pride of South Korea. And here's what they said. No, your K-pop faves didn't pave the way. Parasite did that all on its own. Wait, I might have Stop not watched that. Stop being disrespectful to every single person that worked their asses over this masterpiece of a movie. I think I watched that. For real. Parasite made history and now you guys are gonna make it about BTS. Is this the same Parasite movie that I had watched on Patreon, y'all, or is it a different one? Be being the pride of South Korea, and here's what they said. No, your K-pop faves didn't pave the way. Parasite did that all on its own. Stop being disrespectful to every single person that worked their asses over this month. Look at all these sheep. Look at all these sheep and, 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 uh, yeah, I think it's just really tribe. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't want to ever, I don't want to ever come off as like a, a leader of the herd or whatever. Cause I'm not bro. I'm really just, I'm just, I'm some random nigga to be honest, but I'd rather walk my own path and to, than just blindlessly hate. And I really want to impart that upon every tribe member. Please don't blindlessly just, just 
throw hatred into the world, bro. Because it's like, it don't do nothing for you at all. It don't even benefit you. <laughs> like, it, like, it just don't, it don't even, like, if, if maybe it, because I'm, I'm a big fan of doing shit for yourself. I believe that we, we, we all have the right to be selfish sometimes because that's within our nature. It's intrinsical. But this don't even, you, you like and retweet this. Now what? How does your life get better? Tell me. Tell me. I would love to hear because if your life gets better after doing this, all right, you got it. <laughs> but it doesn't. You're still hating. You still feel hatred. You still feel like shit. You're still not doing anything with your life. So, oh, but I can't really speak from like a try to understand patterns perspective because clearly <laughs> these niggas don't. <laughs> these niggas don't get the pattern, bro. You talk shit and shit just shits on you. Like... <laughs> Maybe not in the way that I phrased that, but like, y'all get it though. <laughs> Your K-pop faves didn't pave the way. Parasite did that all on its own. Stop being disrespectful to every single person that worked their asses over this masterpiece of a movie. For real, Parasite yeah. made history and now you guys are gonna make it about BTS. This ain't about them. Shut up. So they were really mad about it, but the thing is, it's not Armis who started mentioning BTS and Parasite together. It was mentioned by Jimmy Fallon. He said it's an amazing moment for South Korea, because they have Parasite and BTS. Some Korean people also <laughs> talk- <laughs> That stings. That stings! Like, they- Jimmy didn't even mention like- <laughs> Oh God, Jimmy didn't even Jimmy didn't even mention anything else. He's like, when I when I think of Korea, I think of Parasite and BTS, specifically Jimmy. <laughs> not even a thought process of any other group. Parasite and BTS, yeah, Korea's turn. <laughs> hey, that's funny as hell. Like, South Korea, because they have Parasite and BTS. Some Korean people also talking about it. They said they feel proud and happy that they can live in the same time with Bong Joon-ho and BTS. Damn. And some Korean netizens said that the world classes of their cultural industry are Bong Joon-ho and oh BTS. My God. It was no, also sorry. mentioned by the esports writer that BTS is one of the elite four of South Korea. <sighs> President Moon also mentioned BTS and Parasite. He said BTS and Bong Joon-ho are leading the Korean wave worldwide. He basically said BTS paved the I'm way. Haha. Ha. Bong Joon-ho himself also talking about BTS. What? When he went to Jimmy Fallon, he said he particularly enjoyed the. Hold on, who's this Bong Joon 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 guy? Is he the director? He's the director. He got it. He's giving me director vibes. Is he an actor in Paris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting director vibes from him. Okay, okay, Mr. Director Bong Joon-ho, Parasite Man. I'm, I'm just giving you mad adjectives for no reason. <laughs> he basically said BTS paved the way. Ha ha ha. Bong Joon Ho himself also talking oh, bang, about bang, BTS bang, bang, bang when he okay, went to that. Jimmy Fallon. He said he particularly enjoyed the episode when BTS was there and when he was asked about Korean music takeover. He said he think BTS has 3,000 more the power and influence that he have. Facts. He basically but don't, loved don't BTS. Undermine, don't undermine your so influence. I like, I like the dude. about BTS being mentioned with Parasite? I mean, please control your jealousy. Oh, no one discrediting Parasite. Nah, people that's love what BTS is. and people love Parasite. And they are both from South Korea. So it's natural for us to talk about them all together. We just want to appreciate both of them. It's because they are indeed the pride of South Korea. And you should just accept it. So that's it for today's episode. What? I hope you enjoy the video. And if you're still here, I really want to minutes? ask for your help. YouTube demonetized my channel for reused content. And they've been rejecting my reapplication because of the same reason. But I made all of the videos by myself. Uh -huh. And it's not reused at all. Okay. So if you have time, can you please go to my Twitter account at Itchukga and help me to retweet this? So I can reach out to YouTube. You can also visit my Kofi page to support me. I will put the link in the description below. So you can check <laughs> yeah. it out. It's the end. Huh? Leave a like and share it to your friends and your kin. Huh? When I post a video, I'm gonna need y'all to attend. Huh? Thank you for the view, huh? but I ain't done with you. 2023, I'm about to be Jordan with the flu. Huh? Yeah, join a tribe. Huh? Yeah, join a tribe. I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe.